Monday December 20th 2010 and I'm now out in uh, Hertfordshire yes this week I am in Hertfordshire at Garston in the southwest of the county and uh, I'm going to be walking the approximate eight and a half miles according to the book book one walk seven to St Albans Abbey or thereabouts described in the book as not one of the most picturesque of walks uh, which is probably why I haven't done it previously I've been saving it for a day just like today where there's transport problems it's close to London and it's not a particularly long walk uh, there were transport problems this morning it's now 11.20 I should have been here at 10.30 but the train I wanted to catch wasn't running and um, I've only just got here it took about half an hour instead of the 20 minutes that it should have taken as well so uh, tomorrow's the shortest day so uh, that's good news and appropriately for December we've got snow plenty of it something I've been looking for for the last few weeks and lo and behold here it is so book one walk seven mainly along the river Ver, Verulanium, St Albans so let's uh, press on and see what we've got to offer don't know how much filming I'll be doing today because of the temperature the camera might pack up don't know and just like last week we have another quaint little single track branch line albeit that this one's electrified interesting snow does look lovely on these pine trees well two weeks ago we had uh, some <coughs> frozen branches due to the fog but this week completely different fantastic look at that great this is only five minutes in and the uh, noise in the background is the M1 which is about 100 meters away to my left somewhere over there but uh, quite rural here all the same the cottage and frozen over pond mentioned in the text and some appropriately dressed horses there Just about to enter Brickett Common and the wooden kissing gate mentioned in point 8 of the text appears to have been replaced with one of these pinch gates, stop horse riders, which is fair enough. So just a mile in and uh, there's the four, armed, uh, the four armed footpath sign mentioned in point 9 of the text and we turn right headed off down there. Quite a few people about, despite the weather. Enjoying this rare, well, not so rare now, snow. Delightful. Someone's Christmas tree there, taken root. Just at point 11 in the text, by the uh, footpath sign and style that you don't cross. It's in fact now a kissing gate and not a style by the way. And here we have them, the black sheep of the family, contrasting very nicely with the snow. Walking's actually been quite easy thus far, mainly because the snow is compacted. <laughs> However, I am expecting problems shortly when we hit the water meadows. There's Munden House, mentioned in uh, point 12 of the text. 
and just ahead of me on the path frozen over pond there and the uh, footbridge that we have to cross well closer inspection reveals it not to be a pond but in fact a ford over the river Colne a couple of Canada geese over there it's too fast flowing to freeze over Moorhen somewhere in the bushes. This is the view just near Little Munden Farm. Interesting, uh, some animal, probably a deer, I'd imagine, or God knows. Has come under the fence. So probably not a deer. Right across the field. Walking between hedges, <coughs> just after a point at point 15 mentioned in the text. Sun's out now actually turned into a very pleasant December day and I hear tomorrow there's going to be an eclipse to mark the shortest day brilliant the view just at the start of permissive footpath number 72 fantastic the footpath sign half hidden in the hedge just after Netherwild Farm. <coughs> There's another one up there as well just to confirm which way we're headed. Which is down there and across that bridge in the distance. Interesting collection of footprints on the ice in this little stream. Clearly some of them are birds, but uh, the larger ones there, probably a fox or something. <laughs> Nether wild farm over there. The view from the stile at point 19 in the text. There she blows. And just over there on my right, probably 200 metres away, the M25, which no doubt will be going under shortly or over. Soon find out. Absolutely glorious day. Point 21 in the text, it's crossed over the M25 which seems to be flowing pretty well. People are driving far too fast though. Well, that horse there, he's got the name Rambo on his jacket. Irish as well. It's quarter past one now. Just walked past the uh, early lunchtime stop, the Moor Inn, which is a beef eater for those that are interested. But uh, I'll press on. Well, here we are at point 22 in the text, the site of Park Street Roman Villa. Apparently just 95 metres ahead of me there was a, a Roman Villa back in the uh, first to fourth centuries AD part of a larger farm complex apparently the site was excavated in 1944 43 and again in 44 5 and 54 57 My onward journey is up here ahead, the river, uh, the Veer Valley Walk, or the Ver Valley Walk. 
well this is quite interesting walking point 22 just taking the uh, right mentioned and walking down towards the lake I've got uh, a canopy of snow above me incredible it's only about 5 foot 10 off the floor so I'm having to uh, crouch down great down by the lakeside and luckily for me it is frosty and uh, snowed over because I can imagine normally this would be very boggy water meadow fantastic not often you get views like this and just a couple of hundred meters from the M25 as well mobile homes next to the River Colne mentioned in point 24 of the text I think the worst places to live got a cracking view sounds like that alarm in the background is indicating one of them has been broken into there's the overdraft in Park Street, the second time, sorry, the second lunchtime option. Not that salubrious location, but uh, there's a bench over there which is interesting to me. So, lunch has been had, now about two o'clock. Took the bench opposite the overdraft, seeing as there wasn't uh, a lot of other options. And I'm now about to enter Veer Valley Meadows which are the uh, water meadows which probably normally would be difficult to get across without getting a soaking but uh, it being cold and frosty and snow covered shouldn't be an issue as usual at this time of year temperatures dropping rapidly now Thirsty cow. Just come across those water meadows safely enough. The rest of the herd safely out of my way as well. Surprise her out this time of year. Well, there you go. I'm 25 again, just to my left. Up there, I believe. You won't get much closer to a grey heron than that. Either it's concentrating on a fish, or didn't hear me coming. Lovely. Yep, fully focused. Great shot. So, half past three. Sun's just set. Book one, walk seven completed. All eight and a half miles of it apparently. Didn't put my pedometer on today so I can't uh, be sure of that. Anyway, not too bad a walk. Not as bad as I was expecting. Walking conditions were okay, bearing in mind the snow. Uh, so that's uh, what? Just over four hours walking time. Walk one, sorry, book one, walk seven completed. Just as an aside, while I'm waiting for the 1607 train, just as well this station's open today, St Albans Abbey, because the Thameslink service out of the other St Albans station isn't working at all, southbound anyway. So thank God for this one, which hopefully will get me back into Euston eventually. <laughs> 